Well, today I'm going to show you one of the craziest little pieces of retro tech that I've seen in ages. This is the Devum D2 Pro. So when you receive the device, it comes in this crazy cool package. Talk about giving Apple a run for their money on the packaging. So you open this box up and out pops your little cool device. So this is just the most amazing quality little retro looking Bluetooth speaker along with a pixel art display. So as you can see, we've got these six really cool mechanical keys and then we've got this little pull down lever. The lever will start and stop whatever we're playing at the time. When we're playing music or podcast or whatever we want, we can use these up and down keys to control the volume. And the volume, the sound on this device is really amazing. If we pull it again, it'll um, pause the music. So the first key on the top left is our menu key. So if we go into the menus, we can then select with these arrow keys going left and right between the different options that we can select from. So this is our retro games. So once we get here, we pull down the lever and that will go into the game mode. Now we can go across and have a look at the different games. So here's a little Space Invader game. We press that. Um, it will then press it again. It will start. Here's a cool little retro Space Invader game. When you're in the time mode, you can actually have this reading a little VU display monitor. So when you get your DVU, just go in and download the app. There is a QR code in the little instruction guide that'll show you how to get into this. Download the app, create a user, and then you can start using all of these functionalities that offer so much more on this little speaker. So let's have a look. If we go along to the left here, the first one here is we've got a design. So we can go along here and we can actually create our own little pixel arts and you can see it draws it on the screen as we go. Now I'm no artist, but I can imagine there are some amazing little pictures that you can draw with this app and you can upload them and share them with other people on the app as well. Down here we've got a whole music library here that we can select from. So these are different music stations. So we can fire up one of those. The sound on this little guy is just amazing. It's got so much bass for a small little speaker. Quite incredible. So an alarm clock that we can set up to wake us up in the morning. Um, Down the bottom here, we've got, we can select from a whole lot of different pixel arts that people have done. That's just going to update all that pixel art into my device. And then it will allow me to select a whole lot of little animated pixel arts within the system. We've got this DJ mixer. So this is like a little miniature keypad. And you can actually start creating quite cool little mixers on the go here. Now, of course, being a big Home Assistant fan, I wanted to see if I could get my DVM D2 connected to Home Assistant. And I did find this Hex integration for the Pixu 64. Now, unfortunately, when I tried to do this, I found out that even though I could download it and install the repository, it actually needed to be connecting via Wi-Fi and would not work via Bluetooth. So let's see if any of you out there can find a way of integrating this on Bluetooth, as that would be absolutely awesome. Well, that's all from this episode. If you've enjoyed my content, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. So as you can see, we've got these six really cool mechanical keys, and then we've got this little pull-down lever. The lever will start and stop whatever we're playing at the time. When we're playing music or podcast or whatever we want, we can use these up and down keys to control the volume. And the volume, the sound on this device is really amazing. If we pull it again, it'll um, pause the music. So the first key on the top left is our menu key. So if we go into the menus, we can then select with these arrow keys going left and right between the different options that we can select from. So this is our retro games. So once we get here, we pull down the lever and that will go into the game mode. Now we can go across and have a look 
at the different games. So here's a little Space Invader game. We press that. Um, it will then press it again. It will start. Here's a cool little retro Space Invader game. The guys that developed this are really, really clever. So you've got a whole lot of little retro games you can go to. Um, as you can see, it's got this little, when you're in the time mode, you can actually have this reading a little VU display monitor, and that's pretty cool as well. Now, one of the really good things is I saw one of the other YouTubers talking about the fact that the keys at night were really bright. So they've added in this feature now, if you hold the menu button, it will actually turn off the lights on the keys. So that's pretty cool. We'll turn those back on, and there we go. Now, there's also another function over here, which switches between different pixel arts that display on the screen. And you can actually go into the app and actually adjust and create your own pixel art or select from a whole selection of different pixel art that is available in the menu.